when I pray, listen to me. When I'm praying, when I'm praying, everyone is at risk. I said everyone is at risk. We decree and declare that anybody that fights your prophecy shall become a victim of the prophetic. Money is that is the spirit of faith grows within you. And this is a prophetic word that I, God just gave me one word. And that one word, I want to repeat it. You will never, never be defeated. It might be government, it can be people, it can be prophets, it can be fake prophets, it can be pastors, it can be fake pastors, it can be congregants, it can be church members. You will never be defeated in the name of Jesus. I've never gotten a prophecy wrong. And this one will not be wrong. A good news to you from a good news to welcome you to another video so we want to watch some dangerous prayer prophet hubert angel made for pressure for prophet shepherd bushiri major one that put his enemy in serious trouble let's get into this video in the name of jesus on this birthday we decree and declare a new door to open and every barrier to be broken every spiritual attack to be faced by fire we decree and declare over your life as a prophet as a major prophet that anybody that fights your prophetic shall become a voice and shall become a witness to others that this cannot be so we decree and declare that anybody that fights your prophecy shall become a victim of the prophetic. That is the spirit of faith grows within you. May every financial barrier that the enemy might try to touch be broken in the name of Jesus. May you impart to make impact. In the mighty name of Jesus, make a mark that cannot be erased make a mark for christ that cannot be erased any route you wanted to walk and you couldn't walk because of anything because of something today it is broken any voice that stood before you and prevented you from going further into something to teach these people something greater let the revelation and the power in you open their understanding so that they can hear and they can produce result everyone that listens to you and hears you let them be blessed beyond anywhere beyond anyone and let them be blessed to the extent that they know that it is you and the anointing upon your life that makes a difference and lastly anyone that fights and is fighting your anointing let them not find any rest and any other solution except in you in jesus might name i prophesy many more years and many more years and many more years and more many years in jesus and now that was the first prayer i played and now i want to play the second prayer again on the prophet shepherd bushiri birthday again where prophet hubert angel gave this prophetic word to him that he would never be defeated from his enemy even though they are pastors let's watch the one Decree and declare in the name of Jesus with this word and I then I'll give a prophetic word to your father. I decree and declare to everyone here who is a partner in views all over the world and those who are supporting Major One. I speak a new season has dawned on you. Your case which was agent is being dealt with right this minute. I speak right now the power to fraternize with divinities with you. That every agent of hell will be destroyed from now or forth, from henceforth, you will not struggle for anything. And for every partner, this is your word. Speak after me, say this after me. Money is everywhere for me. This is your prophetic word. Money is everywhere. They say, what's happening? They say, money is everywhere. Money is everywhere. And this is a prophetic word that I, God just gave me one word. And that one word, I want to repeat it. You will never, never be defeated. 
it might be government it can be people it can be prophets it can be fake prophets it can be pastors it can be fake pastors it can be congregants it can be church members you will never be defeated in the name of jesus i've never gotten a prophecy wrong and this one will not be wrong are you hearing me and for everyone watching it will be a miracle to leave this service with no miracle you have your miracle love you all so for those who don't know prophet mboro is a native of south africa and he was once a friend to prophet shepherd bushiri but here is the story of betrayer how prophet mboro turned his back against prophet Bush shepherd bushiri and become from friends to worst enemy uh, they were very close at a point in time like brothers because prophet mboro comes to visit prophet shepherd bushir in his house so over the years prophet mboro became very jealous of the progress and the success of prophet shepherd bushir a foreigner who is not a native of south africa to become very popular and become uh, wealthy and God was blessing in the nation of South Africa and due to this he became envy of his friend Prophet Shepherd Bushiri and began to try every means to bring the man down and even he started a campaign that Bushiri must go home Bushiri must go home he started a campaign that Bushiri must go home and he said he was fighting for South African people Bushiri must go home In this country, they don't want him. That Prophet Bushiri is a thief, and this he, all what has before Prophet Bushiri in South Africa. This man was behind it. This man was behind. He was the one hiring people to investigate, doing this, doing this, uh, doing all sort of things against Prophet Shepherd Bushiri. And now, time and years has passed after this incident. Prophet Shepherd Bushiri has to flee from South Africa. Uh, because of the persecution he was facing, the judges system were against him, they weren't doing the right thing. So Prophet Shepherd Bushiri came back to Malawi, his, home niche, his hometown, and reported himself to the court. Mind you, he never ran away from the court system, but what he did was he gave himself to the court in, in Malawi. To hand, he handed over to himself to the court in Malawi. And so the, the issue has been in court up to today. But as the proceeding has been going through court, uh, there are a lot of things that was revealed. The government of South Africa actually lied against Prophet Shepherd Bushiri. And I know few, I think the case will be decided in November. Finally, the outcome will come in November. But I'm sure Prophet Bushiri is innocent of the accusation. It is people like Prophet Mburu that were castigating, costing people to say a lot of things about prophet shepherd bushiri so now finally uh, we are back to prophet umboro prophet umboro now has become a prophetic victim that was prophesied by prophet hubert angel we decree and declare that anybody that fights your prophecy shall become a victim of the prophetic so, uh, he went to attack a school and after attacking the school he was holding gun with his bodyguards and machete to he said he anybody he, in case of self-defense he will use it to hit anybody that threw stone at him and and the angry student of the school went on it was a student from the community that went to burn his church in flames of course following that uh, uh, incident yesterday at the matiriso primary school uh, where the pastor could be seen um wielding uh, a machete uh, with two other men that were also armed uh, during that attack uh, but you can see here the church really all up in flames so now within 24 hours the man has lost his church police have arrested him and this calamity that is befalling him even his church uh, members have reduced from his church drastically and now he's in police custody because why he touched a man who has a prophetic uh, gift upon his life i will play the video where he went to the school and when he was attacking, attacking my God, the video he was holding gun and stuff. So maybe I will not make the video very clear, but I will show the picture how he was holding gun, harassing the teachers in the school, and 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 machete harassing the teachers in the school. So the incident was reported by to the police. So the students of that community were angry, and they went to his church and bent it down, 
had bent it down. He has become a victim of the prophetic. Why? Because he touched a man that has prophecy. And remember what prophet we read angel told him in one of the uh, one of the prophecy that he will never be defeated, even if he's the pastor. So I will show you what really happened. To, uh, so this is what really happened to Prophet Mbur, a man who has fallen from grace, and now is at the mercy of the police. Uh, so Prophet Ubed Angel, in one of the prophecies, what he said that will help this man is that he has to go back to Prophet Bosheri. That's the only hope he has. If he doesn't go back to him to apologize, he will never be okay. Anyone that fights and is fighting your anointing, let them not find any rest and any other solution except in you. In Jesus' might name, I prophesy many more years and many more years and many more years and more many years. In Jesus. I welcome you, family, to our Good News Prophetic Daily Devotional Message for today. By the prophet to Christianity, highly esteemed prophet Hubert Angel and the president of the Good News World, Madame Prophetess B.B. Angel. This is not just a prophetic word for you. This message I share with you are the messages of the very hour. And today's title is In the, the Master's Hand. In the Master's Hand. Our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 22. I'm using the King James Version. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Mm. Those who leave every those who leave everything in the hands of the Lord will always have God's hands in everything. Mm, powerful. Um, people often bother themselves with issues they shouldn't bother themselves with. Remember, you didn't come to this place by accident. The master knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. God is more aware of the desires of your hearts and knows everything you need, even more than you know. When you pray today, surrender everything to Him and He will settle you, He will settle your case. You shall not be consumed by any circumstance. And every burden is being taken off your shoulders in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. So let me take the last paragraph again. He said, God is more aware of your desires, of the desires of your hearts, and knows everything you need, even more than you know. When you pray today, surrender everything to him. He will settle your case. You shall not be consumed by any circumstances. And every burden is being taken off your shoulder in the name of Jesus. Amen. So now let's read our prophetic declaration for today. You can join me and read or follow me as I read or read after me. I surrender all my burdens to the hands of the Lord and he will take care of them. I shall never lose sleep because my life is in good hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Your life shall be in the hands of the Lord perpetually in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. So for further studies and further reading, Read the prophet Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Our 365 day Bible reading challenge. Your scripture, my scripture, our scripture for today is also taken from the prophet Jeremiah chapter 30 and chapter 31. 
God bless you for making time to join me to read the good news daily. Make sure you don't waste the message. Make sure you don't waste the message. If you have a good news daily copy and you are not sharing it via social media, via any kind of platform, even if it's a hard copy and you don't share it, what you are doing is that you are wasting the message. And also you are being selfish because the good news prophetic daily is a prophet in writing. Is a prophet in writing. By you distributing it, you are giving, you are prophesying to the person receiving it. The person is receiving prophetic word from you as the distributor of the prophet in writing. So make sure you don't wait for the message. Make sure you share the message. Make sure you do your best to share the message to your friends, family, and loved ones. God bless you. I will see you in our next one. Shalom.